Hello and welcome to another update video about AVAX. On the AVAX chart, the price is climbing higher and is moving in line with the forecasted wave count of another high in the fifth wave. Okay, so we've been talking about that uh, wave five of A. Yeah, we've been talking about that for, for a few weeks now. Um, since the price really entered this correction on the 16th of November, the price did find support in our trend reversal or call it support area. It was a setup. Um, for higher prices and we said that um, one more high is still the preferred scenario for the price to reach ideally the region around 29 to 40 dollars but first of all sort of 29 30 dollars is sort of the next level to watch and we're getting there and yesterday the price definitely made good movements um, and traveled good distance towards that next target that is a target that is quite important because we see the, the current rally as a corrective rally. So the move up is an A wave. At some point, I'm still watching for a B wave pullback, but that hasn't started yet. And then another C wave to the upside. So once this move to the upside, which we call a wave A, is finished, then we should look into the structure of the next pullback. If that's corrective, we can add another support area as we did here that can be used for finding an entry or you know you have to decide how you build that into your trading plan but typically we call them trend reversal areas because they are typically the areas where the price should turn around in the current wave count okay and often they hold of course not always but often they hold especially if a trend is unfolding so they definitely help to find low risk high reward entries in a still unfolding trend um, so the B wave pullback could be an interesting one um, to use if there is a deeper pullback in the coming weeks, maybe. But first of all, we're still watching for higher in this potentially still unfolding A wave. Um, and yeah, it is an important area, $29, $30, because first of all, going to the daily chart, it is here, the area of a previous swing high that was actually at $30. It is here, the 38.2 retracement of the move to the downside is going to be relevant. And in addition to that, because we see this as an ABC structure, it's a so-called flat structure in Elliott Wave, it is one of the key targets, the 1.618 extension, pointing here towards $29.30. So I've mentioned that level for a while, and it seems to be a magnet for the price. And not only that, also an A wave yeah, oftentimes reaches and reacts to the um, 38.2 retracement in a wave two. Okay, you know, no guarantee we stop there, but it's the first level. Above that, we still have the 50% FIB level and an A wave can also easily reach that. But the 38.2 FIB level is the first one that's going to be tested. So then looking at the very short term, it seems like that this fifth wave, obviously, um, or this C wave actually of wave five, is unfolding as a five wave move. Yeah? So it seems like we might be sort of halfway there. We might actually exceed the, um, sorry, that's the dog. We might exceed possibly that um, $29, $30 level a little bit, but we'll see. At the moment, um, the focus is still on higher. We haven't even reached it. I mean, we've, we've moved to 28 yesterday, still a dollar missing. Micro support I have added to the chart is at $23.50. A sustained break below $23.50 would be a first indication that some kind of a top has formed. Possibly that wave A is already complete. The microstructure is pretty messy, so don't take it, you know, it's too predictive, but uh, it gives us the support level. So $23.50 is the next micro support against which the focus can be on higher. Again, a break below that would be a first indication that this B wave yeah, might have started this B wave pullback. To give you an orientation where the B wave might land, <clears throat> we take the distance. Uh, one second. No, that's not correct. Actually, I need to measure differently. Let me just do that from. Yeah. So B wave pullback might land in the region between $17.21 and $13.03, but I would have to reassess that situation once we have started it and also i want to see how the price reacts to the 20 29 to 30 dollar level next that's my update about abex i hope you like the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content 
then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Links are in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.